Craig Gillespie is um, an extraordinary director. Um, he, it's like, okay, so this is quite a big budget movie, but Craig is directing it as though it's an independent movie. So you have so much um, collaborative time and you can have so much fun going, oh, why don't we, let's try this. And there's no constraints and he loves working fast and loose and changing things and, and being a bit risky um, with the material and I love that. She is the reason for Cruella, unfortunately, and that's very sad, but it's a wonderful idea, a wonderful idea to see why someone becomes what they become. And um, so em has got a lot to do bef without me. Um, and yeah, of course, for her, the Baroness is um, a kind of dream personage as someone who doesn't really exist. You know, she's the figure behind this extraordinary house of fashion. And so when she sees her, she she's overwhelmed by her and dazzled by her but it doesn't take long before she understands quite who she's dealing with what drives her is not wanting ever to come second and not wanting ever to share the limelight with anybody else so what drives her is her narcissistic um and balefully difficult personality. You know, what drives her is her personality disorder, essentially. She's not well. I mean, she's really, really not well. So, um, and that energy that comes from her, I mean, she's, she's obviously a very, very, very creative woman and, and brilliant. She's a brilliant designer. But then this other person comes along who's better and modern and hip and chic and young and everything she can't bear. It was quite hard for me to be, have any friction with M Stone because we, we're sort of such good friends and love each other. So, and I'd met her long before, so I knew that we were gonna have a good time. Um, so yes, she's my favorite young American. So I, I just feel very lucky. It's just what you always remember is just that coat and the hands, the hands and the gloves and the, these huge eyes. Um, so, I mean, Em's got these massive kind of car headlamp eyes, so she couldn't be more right for it, but also because she's her, you're very drawn to her, and that's very important. You couldn't make this film if you didn't really want to watch that person. Oh, wonderful actors. There's so many fans. I mean, Joel Fry, Paul Walter Hauser, uh, Mark Strong, every single part is so beautifully played. I mean, I can't <laughs> tell you how much fun we've had when someone just comes on and gives of their is a turn you know and it's just brilliant and funny terribly funny so he's cast it wonderfully well as well but it is a two hand it is a i mean the two leads are women who are working and who are um, um adversaries in their work and you don't see that very often <laughs>